Welcome to our channel Stormrider. The USS Zumwalt DDG-1000 is one of the most advanced and futuristic destroyers ever built by the United States Navy. And by 2026, it stands as a symbol of next-generation naval warfare. Designed for versatility, stealth, and multi-mission capability, the Zumwalt represents a major leap in naval engineering blending cutting-edge technology with a sleek modern design unlike anything seen before. When you first look at the Zumwalt, what immediately catches your eye is its unconventional shape. The angular, wave-piercing hull gives it a futuristic look that's more reminiscent of a science fiction warship than a traditional destroyer. This unique tumble-home design, where the hull slopes inward above the waterline, is not just for aesthetics, it drastically reduces the ship's radar cross-section, making it appear on radar as small as a fishing boat, despite being over 600 feet long. That stealth factor is a big deal in modern naval warfare, where being seen first often determines who wins the fight. The Zumwalt is roughly 610 feet long and 80 feet wide, with a displacement of around 15,000 tons, making it significantly larger than most destroyers in the world. Yet despite its size, it's surprisingly quiet and agile. Its stealthy profile, combined with its electric propulsion system, allows it to move silently through the ocean, an advantage both in combat and during intelligence operations. The ship's integrated power system, IPS, is one of its most remarkable technological innovations. Instead of using traditional gas turbines directly linked to propellers, the Zumwalt generates electricity to power everything on board, from propulsion to sensors to weapons. This system produces nearly 78 megawatts of power, enough to supply energy to a small town. That massive power reserve is also what makes the Zumwalt ready for future weapons, such as electromagnetic railguns or directed energy laser systems. When it comes to combat capability, the Zumwalt is designed for multi-role missions, land attack, surface warfare, and anti-air operations. One of its signature features is the Advanced Gun System, AGS. Two large 155mm guns mounted at the front of the ship. These guns were originally designed to fire long-range land attack projectiles, LRLAP, which could strike targets over 80 miles away with pinpoint accuracy. Although the LRLAP program was later discontinued due to cost issues, the Navy continues to explore alternative precision-guided munitions that could give the AGS the long-range punch it was meant to have. Even without them, the Zumwalt's potential as a land attack platform remains formidable. The ship's missile systems are another major highlight. The Zumwalt features 80 advanced vertical launch cells distributed along the hull edges instead of clustered in a single location like on previous destroyers. This placement improves survivability if one section is hit, the rest can still function. These cells can launch a wide range of missiles, including Tomahawk cruise missiles for land attack, SM-2 and SM-6 missiles for air defense, and ASROC anti-submarine rockets. This mix gives the Zumwalt an incredible level of flexibility, allowing it to adapt quickly to various threats. In terms of sensors and radar, the Zumwalt boasts some of the most sophisticated systems afloat. Its dual-band radar system combines X-band and S-band frequencies, providing superior detection and tracking of both air and surface targets. This means it can simultaneously monitor incoming aircraft, missiles, and ships, while guiding its own weapons with remarkable accuracy. The ship's electronic warfare suite also enhances its survivability by jamming enemy radars and confusing incoming threats. Essentially, it can hide in plain sight, detect threats earlier than almost anyone else, and strike before the enemy even knows it's there. Crew efficiency was another major focus in the Zumwalt's design. Despite being much larger than older destroyers, it requires only about 150 crew members, roughly half the number needed on similar ships. This reduction is achieved through extensive automation, from propulsion control to damage control, the ship's systems are highly computerized, allowing a smaller crew to manage operations effectively. Inside, the Zumwalt feels more like a futuristic command center than a traditional warship. Its bridge is fully digital, with touchscreens and integrated displays replacing the old-style analog consoles. Crew comfort also got a boost. Cabins are more spacious, 
and the living quarters are designed to reduce fatigue during long missions. Another area where the Zumwalt stands out is its environmental and acoustic signature. Thanks to its electric drive and carefully designed hull, it produces much less noise underwater, making it harder for enemy submarines to detect. The ship also has reduced infrared and magnetic signatures, meaning it's less visible to heat-seeking and magnetic sensors. In a world where advanced detection technologies are constantly evolving, these stealth features give the Zumwalt a serious edge. By 2026, the Zumwalt-class destroyers, including the USS Zumwalt itself, are undergoing upgrades to expand their role even further. One of the most notable developments is the integration of hypersonic missile systems. These weapons, capable of flying at more than five times the speed of sound, will allow the Zumwalt to strike high-value targets from incredible distances with unprecedented speed and precision. This transformation positions the Zumwalt not just as a destroyer, but as a strategic strike platform, capable of influencing conflicts far beyond the coastline. However, the Zumwalt program hasn't been without its challenges. Originally, the U.S. Navy planned to build 32 of these ships, but due to high costs, each unit exceeding $4 billion, production was cut to just three. Some critics argue that the ship's complexity and cost outweigh its benefits, while supporters believe it represents an essential step toward the future of naval warfare. In many ways, the Zumwalt serves as a testbed for technologies that will eventually be integrated into future classes of warships. From advanced propulsion systems to AI-assisted combat operations, performance-wise, the Zumwalt can reach speeds of around 30 knots, impressive for its size, and it has an operational range of nearly 9,000 nautical miles at cruising speed. This long reach means it can operate independently for extended periods, a valuable trait in both combat and humanitarian missions. Whether it's supporting Marines on shore, patrolling contested waters, or providing missile defense for carrier strike groups, the Zumwalt is built to handle it all, beyond raw power and technology. What truly sets the USS Zumwalt apart is its vision for the future. It represents a shift towards smarter, stealthier, and more energy-efficient naval warfare. It's a glimpse of how future navies will look and operate. Ships that combine advanced computing, stealth design, modular weapons, and sustainable energy use into a single adaptable platform. The Zumwalt isn't just a war machine, it's a symbol of innovation a floating laboratory pushing the boundaries of what's possible at sea. As of 2026, the Zumwalt has evolved from an experimental prototype into an operationally capable destroyer that redefines what naval dominance means in the 21st century. Its blend of stealth, power, and adaptability gives it a unique place in maritime history. While it may have started as a controversial project, Today, the USS Zumwalt stands as proof that pushing technological limits, though costly and challenging, is the only way to stay ahead in an era of rapidly changing warfare. Whether seen cutting through the waves or vanishing from radar screens, the Zumwalt is more than just a ship. It's a bold statement of how the future of naval power will look.